I just returned from a fabulous meeting with a former Navy SEAL, Jakob Worksman, uh, just a fabulous young man, an elite, an elite fighter, combat veteran, um, very, very proud to be in his presence. Uh, what he shared during the meeting is the importance of leaders making sure that they paint a picture of the organizational higher purpose why, the direction the, or the company's going in uh, so everybody can see it clearly and everybody buys into it. Uh, that really is the movement in leadership circles today, the importance of defining the organizational higher purpose why so everybody can be co-accountable to get there, uh, to, to have it manifest. That said, on this Friday afternoon, it causes me pause because I think to myself, my gosh, I really haven't been the best leader in that category, uh, being the best Picasso picture painter I can be when it comes to, when it comes to my own leadership uh, relating to why I do at times what I do. Um, but instead of talking about the organization, let me flip that and say that I've had some personal introspection as it relates to being the leader in my family. Let me explain. Um, I remember preparing to go into a weekend with my kids. Now they're all adults, but when they were kids, and we would have so many things planned for the weekend. And oh my gosh, I would, re I would remember having a full tank of gas Friday more, uh, excuse me, Friday evening, and then you know, going to bed Sunday night with it on empty because while we were running everywhere, birthday parties, hockey games, uh, dance recitals, um, uh, uh, do, doing, you know, uh, play dates, all those special things that parents um, so enjoy. But I remember during those weekends, oh my gosh, it would become so frustrating because we were just running from event to event and the kids would be arguing and it would be hot and they would be bored with their siblings, uh, you know, event and they would want to go and play with their friends or whatever, whatever. And we would end up getting in, you know, family tussles and argument. And I would just say in a very punitive way, okay, if this continues, we're going home. We're not going to do it anymore. So it was, more, it was more about scarcity versus abundance. It was not me doing a timeout saying, why are we doing this? Sometimes I would say that and I would hit my head against the wall, but not as it relates to now what I know my higher purpose was then as I should have been painting that picture in my own mind, in my own self-talk. Why was I doing that? So the kids could have a wonderful life, so the kids could be socially adjusted and, 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 and build a friend network so the kids could exercise and participate in team sport, vitally important for, for collaboration later in life. So I could breathe life in these kids, so I could provide them life skills, and oh my gosh, are they crushing it as adults now. So I really should have stopped as my family leader back then, snapped, my, snapped myself out of it and said, why are we doing this? Well, the answer is, as I focus more on our higher purpose why or my responsibility as a dad in order to really enrich these kids so they can so they can tap into their potential and drive greater performance in life. So I share that with you as a little introspective thought as I look forward to a fabulous weekend with my kids somewhere else and me and my wife alone we're going to be holding hands walking the beach and loving life together but now in retrospect, I really think I could have been a better dad family leader, snapping myself out of it and really considering my higher purpose why then. I'm glad it played out as it did, but I just wanted to share that personal introspection with you this afternoon. Good luck on your leadership journey.